Yo, I just got a package in from the Kraken's Horde. It's time to open it. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, on this channel, I talk about comics all the time. So consider subscribing if you're into them. Now, today I've got a package to open. This comes to you from the Kraken's Horde. Uh, you've heard me talk about the Kraken's Horde before. Uh, they were an online business that started uh, during the pandemic. And unfortunately, they are going out of business. So um, for the last few weeks, they've been kind of clearing out inventory on Facebook and in different groups. And so I saw a post that my man Palmer put up, like with just some, you know, a last, you know, a big blowout sales. Like there was a bunch of different items on sale uh, going all the way back to like, you know, Bronze Age stuff, all the way up to like, you know, last week's releases. So a huge uh, spread of items that are available uh, to grab, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's not for the greatest reason because they are closing their doors, but I went ahead and picked up some stuff and he was, he was, you know, excited to make a deal. So we made a deal. Let's see if we can get this open. All right. So this package is a little tight. So I figured I'd go ahead and go with the scissors instead of the box cutter, just in case, you know, I don't want to mess things up. So I'm going to go ahead and just slice this open at the bottom of the bag. Or not. Being left handed and doing things is always kind of interesting sometimes. Right. And what do we have here? Okay. A very interesting use of a priority mail flat rate box. Looks like it's got, they like bent it into like a Gemini. That's cool. That's. Awesome. So let's pull this pull tab. And bang, we're in. Wrapped it once. Wrapped it twice. All right. Another nice little pull tab there. Boom. 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 More wrapping. The suspense. The suspense is killing me. All right. Another. Another pull tab. A couple more pull tabs right here. And right there. All right. And I think, yes, this is it. We're here. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Got my packing slip in here. And, uh, oh man, there's some extras in here, which are cool. All right. Awesome. All right, let's do it then. Let's get into what we got. And now, introducing. All right, so let's start off with uh, one of these extras. First up, we've got from Donny Cakes. This is the Hulk issue number one. This is the second printing of this book. Try to see how I can hold it and not catch the glare. There we go. There we go. Hulk number one. <clears throat> second print. So uh the Hulk, this is where it all starts. This, there's no prior reading before this. Uh Donnie Kate starts a brand new run on Hulk with issue number one here. And as you can see, the Hulk is like in a starship. It's crazy, but it's cool. So there we go. Thanks for that, Palmer. Much appreciated. All right. And here we are with another extra. This is Black Panther issue number one. This is a sketch variant by Alex Ross. Uh, this is the, again, the beginning of John Ridley's Black Panther run, which I believe started around the same time as the Hulk, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but this series has been good so far. We, we're six issues in. I'm really enjoying it. We got a first appearance in issue three, got some follow up in issue six. Uh, some really dope things going on in the Black Panther title if you're not reading it. Um, and this sketch cover by Alex Ross is just dope because you know Alex Ross does the beautiful painted covers, but he starts with these sketches. And it's just interesting to see like 
just how detailed his pencil stage is. Even. So that's dope. All right, let's get this painter's tape off of here. Now let's get to the items that I actually ordered. Thanks for the extras again. Really appreciate it. Now, first up, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number 127. Now, you guys know I've been subscribed to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ever since issue 101. So I've got like a full run of Ninja Turtles from that point. But uh, issue 127 is special because issue 127 is the first appearance of Venus de Milo in the IDW franchise. Uh, you may remember Venus from the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series that came on like the same channel as Power Rangers. They did like a team in TMNT Power Rangers crossover, I feel like. Anyway, she was the female turtle. It didn't last long. The show didn't do very well, but they brought her into comics in a very interesting way. And that's all I'll say. We're on issue 129 now. This is issue 127. This is the cover A, which I already had because it's on my full list. But what I found it impossible to find was this cover B. This is the Kevin Eastman cover. You know I love Kevin Eastman covers. I think this is technically the first cover appearance of Venus uh, in this continuity. So this book was going for some money uh, at one point. Uh, I think it's dipped a little bit. But I'm very excited to finally have this book. Let me take this tape off so you can see in its full glory. But there you go. Venus in IDW continuity. Looks like this is a Sophie Campbell and Kevin Eastman collab cover. Which is cool. You can kind of see the style difference. But I love it. So that's the first thing I bought. And then the second thing that I bought was this. This is the History of the DC Universe by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. This is book one. And this is book two. Uh, now, these are collected in like a hardcover somewhere or something. But basically, this was made as a companion to Crisis of Infinite on Infinite Earths. Um, so that you could kind of understand what was going on and then what the ramifications for the crisis were. Uh, so I decided to grab this because I thought it was very fitting. We're, we're now uh, moving into Dark Crisis. And Dark Crisis is very much like a rehash of a bunch of crises of the past. So yes, they're going to recount the history of Crisis of the Infinite Earths um, and Infinite Crisis and Final Crisis and Identity Crisis and Crisis Crisis. But I thought this would be a valuable resource for someone like me who didn't read any of those crises uh, back, you know, when they happened or even, you know, later on as a reader. So history lesson for me, quite literally. So this is the history of the DC universe, book one and book two, the definitive saga of the history of the DC universe. So that's cool. Yo, yo. Okay. So. Here, just as a side note, John Ridley did a book called The Other History of the DC Universe. And look at this. The style of John Ridley's book is very similar to this, where it's like prose on top of imagery. And it doesn't look exactly like a traditional comic book. I didn't know that was something that he borrowed from this. But that makes sense because it's called The Other History of the DC Universe. Now it's anyway, I'm a nerd. But you guys know how I like the other history of the DC Universe. It's one of the first big reviews I did on this channel. Uh, so to see that come back full circle, that's pretty cool. But this is the history of the DC Universe by Marv Wolfman and the late George Perez. So that is the haul from the Kraken's Horde. So history of the DC Universe, TMNT issue 127. Um, very excited about those. And then he threw in these extras, Black Panther and the Hulk. Um, all this, I believe, for $25. Not bad at all. Very appreciative. Uh, so shout out to Nick and shout out to Palmer at the Kraken Tour. Now, for now, you can still shop their remaining inventory at thekrakenshoard.com. So definitely do that. I'll leave links in the description below. Um, and I hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, hey, that's cool. So you can always buy what you like. 
Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others, because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.